welcome back to a week in my life in New York City, Fashion Week edition. I woke up this morning, cleaned, had breakfast, just had a nice morning to myself because it is the calm before the storm. <laughs> I ran some errands, I went to the dry bar, I did a fitting at Alice and Olivia, and now I'm back because I'm about to do therapy, and then I'm headed to another fitting and going to get my makeup done by Kat. I'm so excited. Um, we're getting, Brooke and I both are getting our makeup done, so we were like, let's just make it easy for Kat cam.artistry and we're doing it at Brooke's apartment and we also need to do a meeting about a gals in the go thing so we're like okay we'll just do our meeting while we're getting our makeup done so fun um because we have two really exciting events tonight that I'll get you guys more in the know about later it was literally so hot out like I couldn't keep my outfit on that I had on this morning I literally just had to change like strip my whole body because it was so hot anyways I'm about to hop onto my therapy call which is perfect timing, honestly. And then we're gonna head to the rest of our errands. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. I love working with them. I think it's so cool that they want to sponsor my videos because you guys know how important mental health is to me. I've got my computer right here. I'm about to hop on a therapy session, which I just think is so lovely that you don't have to wait in you know odd waiting rooms or you don't have to leave your apartment honestly you can literally just do it from your from your computer from your phone you can do it you know a phone call or you can do a webcam which i like to do because i can see their facial expressions my facial expressions are just more but if you're not in the mood you can literally do a phone call it's amazing so yeah better helps mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible and i also feel like finding a therapist can really be really hard i've had some friends that reach out to me like how did you find your therapist or you know they they meet one and they just they don't love it it literally feels like dating sometimes but with better help if you're not happy with your therapist they will help you find a new one however they also have you fill out a questionnaire to help you pick your initial therapist so they're definitely doing the work to make sure it's a good fit but if it's not no problem you can switch it up therapy has helped me in so many different aspects of my life when I started to get health anxiety that was really nice to be able to talk to my therapist about that you guys know my journey with that also when I was applying to colleges and I was trying to make a lot of people in my life happy, um, it was really nice to talk to a therapist as well because she was not involved in my life at all. She was a third party, completely out, and just kind of listened to me and gave her opinions as well, which was really lovely. It's super easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. Like if you're just thinking about it, maybe this video is your sign. So I'll have a link down below. So easy to get matched. The link is betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. I will have a link down below. I think they're such a great resource. So you can click the link down below or you can go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Therapy is done. I am actually bringing my computer with me because I might need it for Brooke and I's meeting. Bringing out the big tote bag now. Um, I'm gonna put some shoes on. I'm like, do I need anything else? I don't think so. I'm getting a little sleepy, but I've already had two coffees today. I mean, they were both decaf. Honestly, I might need a sip of a Celsius or something. Okay, fittings are done, errands are done. I'm headed up to Brooke's apartment now. We're both getting our makeup done by Kat. I'm so excited to see Kat. I also just had some caffeine, so I'm like feeling good. I needed that caffeine so bad. Hello! How are we doing? Kat put this on me while she sets up. She's like, you sit there, put on your mask. I love it. <laughs> Kat's giving me some body glow now. I haven't seen my makeup yet, but we're gonna do some body glow. Guys, so good. I'm not okay. This is like That's my new exciting. favorite look that Ooh, you've done on me, I think. The week has just begun. I know, I know. Kat, you're gonna see a lot more of Kat. I'm seriously so obsessed. I like how you brought so it down good. to thy chest. Thank you. Brooke's picking on her outfit for tonight. They're um, both so cute. Is that Reformation? Yes, of course. Such a any dress. It's my favorite. Ever. Yeah. I have it in several colors. I love it. Um, or this one. They both kind of have a similar like. They both have a similar vibe. Yeah. Except I'm nervous about the leather, but I feel like this is more transitional from like yacht to yacht to uh, nylon. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So cute. Okay, home now. About to start getting dressed for tonight's events that I'll kind of walk you guys through. Um, but I'm going to the Legence show tomorrow. I'm so excited they're dressing me. It's always very exciting when the designer wants to dress you and have you wear their clothes because you just feel part of the team. Um, so they just, I picked out a couple outfits and then they kind of just saw what was in stock, what made sense, who was wearing what. I think is how they organize it. So they sent me this outfit I picked out and it, everything fits like a glove. Just had to try on to make sure because the show's tomorrow. Like, look, it's a tank with this sick thing over top. It's so hot out. That's okay. These jeans, they have like a little give to them, like some stretch. I got a size 28. 
I'm, I love, like with some black booties or some black heels. I'm not wearing this tonight, but I just wanted to try it on and I wanted to show you guys because I'm so happy. Like sometimes they'll let you keep the stuff and then sometimes they have you send it back. But I think I get to keep this and I'm very excited. Okay guys, I'm so obsessed with my outfit tonight. I styled myself as I do. Um, it's House of CB. I love everything House of CB. I didn't even tell you guys what we're doing tonight. Ryan's here, he's my date. Hey. Ryan's doing a little fashion week, a little fashion week, a little podcast. Um, so basically, my podcast network that I'm so proudly proud to be a part of, Podcast One, is the first podcast network to be going public. So they'll be live on NASDAQ this Friday, and they actually invited Brooke and I um, to be at the bell ringing on Friday at 9.30. So freaking cool and other fun stuff that I'll explain later. But tonight is the IPO party, so I was like, I have to bring my finance boyfriend to this. <laughs> um, and it's on a big boat, so I'm so pumped. It's with like the whole podcast one team. A lot of them flew in from LA, which I'm really excited to see some of them because I email with them all the time, but I don't always see them in person. I've met most of them in person, but you know, and it'd be really cool to introduce Ryan to them. Um, but yeah, so we're going from that to a nylon event. Two events tonight, so I'm dressing for a boat and fashion week. So we're trying. Here is the fit. It's literally me in an outfit. It's this corset top that actually has straps, but they're a little big on me and they kept falling. So I was like, you know what? And I just tucked them in and it's kind of doing everything it needs to. Pants are also House of CB. I will have this outfit linked down below. By the way, you guys, I have all of my stuff I mentioned in my videos always linked down below. And just to go ahead and go follow me on LTK, I have that linked down below. You could see everything I link. Necklace is Love AJ. Earrings are Amazon. And then just like other random jewelry. Dolce Vita shoes. And then um, my trusty Bottega bag. And then I left my birth control out, so I remembered to take it tonight. That's that. We're gonna go. I am... So excited for the night to begin. I'm gonna try my best to vlog as much as I can, but yeah. Twelve fifteen, chugging water. I had a couple things to drink tonight. I kind of started to slow myself down. I didn't even make my bed this morning, you guys. I've been all over the place. Um, my bed looks so inviting. Like I'm kind of happy I didn't make my bed because I can just slither in. Tonight was so much fun, and I'm gonna do it all over again. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. Fun fact, Thursdays are my favorite day of the week. I can't explain it, they just are. Uh, I mean, obviously there's some Thursdays I like more than others. We're making ourselves a little cup of coffee. One thing about me, I'm gonna have my morning. Like, if that means waking up earlier, we're waking up earlier so we can have that morning, even if it's 30 minutes. Today I'm gonna have an hour to myself, which is, well, 45 minutes, we'll take it. I look so good. I've been doing this thing where as my coffee's being made, I race over here to make my bed. And then it's kind of like you're racing your coffee to be done and then you make your bed. Sometimes I'm just, I don't want to do it, but I try to because it just makes your whole room look better. So while my coffee's pouring, I get down to business over here. Clearly I didn't do it yesterday, but it's okay. Ta-da! I just love my room. It makes me so happy. Playing Jazzy Morning on Spotify. The best thing ever. Coffee is done. Got my robe on. I'm gonna sit over here and fill out my Doing Well Daily Journal. 
and just kind of set the vibes for the day because we have a lot of socializing to do. Going through my calendar really quick since I feel like the day is going to start and we're just going to be hitting the ground running. So I have, I'm getting glam. I'm doing a lot of glam this fashion week because I find I just really love the photos. I just feel better. I feel more confident when I get my hair and makeup done. So today Kat's coming to do my makeup again and then I'm using a hairstylist named Glenn today. So I'm so excited to try him out. I'm... I'm thinking I want to put in my Luxie clip and hair extensions again because I did that for my press shoot and it was sick. Like, I just love it. I love having long hair. It's so fun. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then at 1 p.m., headed over to the podcast studio and Brooke and I are guests on I've Had It Today. I'm so excited. I love their podcast so much. Um, Jennifer and Pumps, they have this hilarious podcast really all about things that they've had it with. It's so funny, like they'll just sit and complain. I have my I've had it's already prepped and ready to go. Um, so we're doing that and then coming back, I'll have a minute to change and then we're gonna go to the La Jeance presentation, that outfit I showed you guys yesterday. And then after that, I'll have time to come back and change and then we're going to the Vogue New York Fashion Week kickoff party that I went to last year as well. And it was so fun. And I'm bringing my manager with me to that, which will be fun. My manager actually came to the event last night. She like flew in from LA and then met up with me at the party, which was really lovely. So we're ice rolling the day away. I'm gonna make some breakfast here soon and get my emails done. Cause I'm just such an emails on computer girl. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna continue finishing my to-do list. New York Fashion Week, baby. <laughs> Vibes are good in here. Just did dishes, cleaned the kitchen a little bit, fluffed up my living room, set up the glam area. Not really. I mean, they'll set up, but I put my extensions here. Um, they're so good. I'm like so excited. And I started setting out my outfits. This is the outfit. I don't know what I'm wearing to the podcast yet. This is where I'm wearing to La Jeans. I decided to go like silver accessories. So I just kind of put out everything there. For the podcast, Brooke said she's doing like a sweater and jeans. So I may do like, I have stuff everywhere. I just started doing, I'm trying out Rent the Runway um, for something for something exciting tomorrow. It's a pink suit. That's Gals in the Go coded right there. But I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to do a fun blazer moment. That's always cute. I don't know. I'm going to be so hot, but I think I'm going to wear this. It's from, wait, where is this from? I can't remember. I think Sturettes, but it's so cute on it. Cinches at the waist and it's, or maybe it's from Naked Fashion. I will find out, but it's so flattering on and it kind of cinches and I think that'll be good with like some jeans. Here we are again. I'm here with Kat, Glenn, and Kelly. And we are doing big things today. <laughs> uh, no, we're doing similar, <laughs> I don't know. We're doing similar makeup to last night, but like a little toned down, not as like matte, matte. We're doing matte, and then we're doing extensions, blowout look, classic Danielle vibe, but with the long hair. I'm excited. generation because need. I got the OPP of course because it's literally the best. Almond. We got the same. Perfect. We're getting a haircut right now. We're getting the shh look. That's the only way to explain it. Wow. I love having long hair. This is so fun. are in and Danielle is happy. We just finished doing hair and makeup. I love the makeup. It's so perfect. It's like perfect day to night makeup, which I think is really nice because we're doing all kinds of things. So here's my outfit for podcasting. It's very casual. 
but I love this top so much we'll be sitting we're going on I've had it I think I said that this morning yeah we're going on I've had it I have my I've had it's ready I'm ready to complain for an hour with Jen and pumps let's go I'm like nervous we haven't been a guest on someone else's podcast in a while yeah it's called I've had it and they literally just ask us what we've had it with this week so we just oh. complain hey yo yo I am drenched we took the train back because there was so much traffic and I have like an hour to get ready for the next thing. And in this outfit, even just standing outside, I'm so hot. Oh my gosh. Um, recording went so well. It was seriously such a blast. I felt honored when they laughed at my jokes. Um, and now to the next thing. Okay. We're changed. This outfit I showed you guys yesterday, I'm just so obsessed. Like this, I'll be wearing so much in the fall and winter. I love this little tank shrug moment. I added some bangles. Um, these are from the brand Eight Other Reasons. We're doing a little silver moment. Earrings are anthropology. They're like silver little drop earrings. So yeah, we're going to the Legence presentation. So the top and bottoms are Legence. And then I'm wearing these Kurt Geiger silver heels. And I'm still getting used to like my long hair for the day. It's really fun. I like low-key want to sleep in them. Is that a bad idea? There's hair here because he asked me if I had a broom and I didn't in the moment. I was like, I'll just vacuum. It's like my extensions that he cut. And I just like simply don't have time to vacuum right now. So we'll do that later. <laughs> literally just had my afternoon cottage cheese and then I get a knock on the door I don't know if anyone else lives alone but like if I get a knock on the door and I don't know someone's coming because I live in like an apartment building where like you know you got to get up here and stuff I have a doorman I'm like who is here because usually my doorman will call up or I know and so I was like literally tiptoeing trying to look at the people and it was, it was a delivery guy I was so confused but then Grey Goose and I went to the open with them so maybe this is a little fun gift, which I always enjoy. Feels like plastic or uh, some straws. Oh my God, this is so cute. Are these cocktails? I'm so, this is epic. It's a honey deuce. Oh, that's dangerous. Guys, it's literally a honey deuce in a can. I didn't even know that. Wow, thank you, Grace. And then this, I'm a little confused. Like, he handed me this food bag, and I was like, oh, like, maybe he was delivering it to someone else. He's like, no, this is for you. <laughs> I mean, this smells amazing, but I, I don't understand. Am I missing a U.S. Open thing with the bread? So I saw he had another vodka, a Grey Goose thing with another bag of food. So this I am so pumped about. Okay, I just texted Katie and Brooke and Katie said, yes, I got the garlic bread too, but it's really tasty. I'm not complaining. I'm just like, where's... I don't care. I'm excited. Thank you, Gregors. I'm excited for the honey deuces. I was debating keeping my hair down for my final look for the evening, and it just, like, doesn't work. I'm wearing a really cool high neck um, black dress, and it needs a slick back bun. So we're taking out the extensions. It's been so much fun, but I love a slick back. I feel weirdly so confident in one. I feel confident in the long hair too, but since these are clip-ins and not like extensions, we can't cut my hair to like fit the, like to go, like basically my hair, my real hair is very blunt cut right now, like a nice healthy cut. So with the extensions, I kind of find that you can really see them. Um, I think there are techniques um, where you can like braid some of your hair and hide it so it doesn't look as blunt. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm also like, no, I'm just like, let me get these out. Um, hopefully I won't regret this, but I just really want to do a slick back. Hair is short again, and we are going to slick her back. I'm drinking some coffee. Mmm. 
All right, we are just about ready to go. I'll show you guys my outfit. Ah! Okay. Should I turn the lights on? I'm obsessed. Look how fun. I like, need to figure out the back kind of slouches. Is that my butt crack? Oh my God, I thought it was my butt crack. This dress is so cool. Christopher Esper bag is Olga Barrow. I literally can't get it open. And so I'm literally just gonna go to the event holding it and I'm gonna see if someone can help. <laughs> and then my shoes are from, I think they're called Black Suede Studio. And then I'm wearing these like little earrings, hairs up and I'm happy about it. So yeah, I'm gonna go take some pictures. So we get the schwat and then I'm gonna go to the Vogue event. It's 6 a.m. Big day ahead of us. We're gonna take a shower. Okay, you guys, today is a very exciting day. Um, I feel like I've said that this whole week, but today's, I'm freaking excited. So, let me take a sip of my coffee here. Uh, so as you guys know, Podcast One, the podcast network Gals on the Go is a part of, is going public today in the NASDAQ. Um, which is exciting. It's the first podcast network to be able to be publicly traded. Um, and it's PD, dollar sign PDOC on the NASDAQ. Very exciting. Um, so we went to that party on the boat the other day, as you guys know. Um, but today, they invited Brooke and I and Ryan, actually, um, and other people that live in New York City that either work for Podcast One or whatever, to go ring the bell at 9.30 um, at the NASDAQ building, which is just so cool. Um, bucket list for sure. So nice of them to include us because I think a lot of their talent, honestly, is in LA. Um, so we're very lucky to be able to be a part of this. Here's the kicker. We were already so excited to be going to the bell ringing. Then we find out there's a billboard on the NASDAQ. It's a screen, it's ginormous. And all day today, there's going to be a billboard running. And it's gonna say podcast one, whatever. And then they show three podcast shows. And one of those is Gals on the Go. And there is a whole moment where Gals on the Go, Brooke and I's face, they showed us the design. It's just gonna be up there. So, Brooke and I are going to be on a billboard today, and I can't believe it. Come to find out, they actually were running this every 30 minutes yesterday, which Brooke and I didn't know. Um, so someone actually sent us a picture of it, which is crazy. Um, and I was like, oh, should we go? And I was like, no, we have a whole, like, we literally have our friend Marissa coming to take pictures of us. So we're going to ring the bell, and then we'll run down and see the billboard. I'm, like, so freaking excited. Like, it hurts. I can't believe it. This is obviously a dream come true. Um, so I wanted to wake up super early. I'm Brooke is up to, we're texting, to do my makeup, go to the dry bar, and um, make this a whole thing. And it was really nice when they met Ryan um, at the party the other day. They were like, Ryan needs to be at the bell ringing. So he's geeking. He's into finance. Like, he's a finance boy. So he's pumped. He's, like, telling all his friends. Because um, I think you can have, like, 75 people or something at the bell ringing. So there's going to be a lot of us. Um, and I think it's on TV, like on CNBC or something. So, very excited. So I'm getting ready for that right now. I think I'm literally just gonna like leave here dressed and then go to Dry Bar and then go to, cause it's in Times Square. The Nasdaq building's in Times Square. So very exciting. Billboard in Times Square vibes. Are you kidding me? This has been a dream of mine forever. Anywho, I'm gonna keep getting ready, but. Okay. Obviously, I had to wear something pink. Brooke is wearing like a pink dress as well. I rented this one on Fashion Pass. It's just like a pink blazer dress. And then earrings are Anthropology Gold. I'm wearing this Adina Eden necklace she made for us that says GOTG. 
I'm wondering if Brooke will wear hers too. Um, I wash my hair, obviously, <laughs> and I'm gonna go to the dry bar. That's been my new thing, is washing my hair before the dry bar, because I found my scalp was starting to get irritated from their products, which is really sad. But it also makes it quicker, because I always shower before dry bar anyways, and my hair's wet, so by the time I get there, I'm only there for 20 minutes sometimes, because my hair's already wet and I already put product in it. I'll have them put a little more heat protectant in, but it's just so nice. Okay, let's check out my outfit. I tried it on late last night when I got back from the party. Okay, cute. It's giving, is it giving billboard? Is it giving ringing the bell? Like I wanted to be somewhat chic and businessy, but still gals on the go. I like how this cinches at the waist. So I think I'll be like, yeah, I think this is good. Brooke's wearing like a light pink and white, cute like tweed short sleeve dress. So I think this will be good. We always like to coordinate in some sort of way. My makeup is like popping off this morning. I swear, whenever I do my makeup early in the morning, it looks really good. I don't know why. But anyways, we're gonna stop and get a coffee, go to dry bar. It's gonna be, so, it's funny like being in this outfit with wet hair. Um, and then from there, we're gonna go to Times Square. I can, I cannot believe this is like happening today. In the dry bar bathroom. Just got my classic straight up. I look like a news reporter right now. <laughs> As suspected, it was done in 20, no, 15 minutes. So now I'm like, I don't really wanna go back home, but I don't really wanna sit in Times Square just like waiting for that long because I don't wanna sweat. So I might just, I don't know. It's better to be early. I'm just like, what do I do now? <laughs> That's where it's gonna be. Oh, oh! Oh my god, it's about to happen, it's about to happen. Oh my god! Oh my god, guys, that was, it just happened. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. That is so cool. That is so cool. Ah! I was like, hold it! Is it recording? Yeah, it was recording. I really cute. <laughs> guys it's been a crazy day um this morning was so surreal i can't even begin to explain the feeling and it was really so special they and they invited ryan the other day so he got to be there as well so it was really cool to share that with him and then obviously brooke and i were just in shock and everyone on podcast one was just so supportive and i'm so happy for them like it's crazy i'm making some chicken and rice right now for lunch because I ate at like 6 a.m. But um, yeah, so kind of riding a high from that. Brooke and I were like going through the photos. We had our friend Marissa meet us there to take some really cool photos, um, which was really special. And yeah, I've just been home now getting stuff done because that's the most annoying sound, I'm sorry. That's so annoying. Um, and now I've been home heating up my rice. Cleaning my apartment, vacuuming, prepping, responding to emails because tonight we're going to the Daily Front Row Fashion Media Awards. I have no idea how I got on this invite list. Like, I'm actually shook. I really don't know. But I'm not mad about it and I'm very, very grateful. So I'm super pumped. I have my outfit all planned over here. Going with this white dress with one shoulder. So sick. Got all the undergarments. These Stuart Weitzman. They're actually comfortable because they're platform shoes. I think these are Claire Jewelers and then this beautiful clutch. It's like a whole carpet moment. Like tonight is a glam night. So I need to ice roll my face. That is what I need to do. So tonight is gonna be that. It ends at like eight o'clock I think and it's at the Rainbow Room in uh, like Rockefeller Center or whatever. Um, and I've never been into it. I've seen it in photos and everything. So that'll be really cool to experience. I think this is going to be a very fabulous star studded event. So. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can. I don't have a plus one or anything. They don't allow that, at least for me. 
Um, so I'm going in this alone. <laughs> we shall see how it goes. I'm sure, I'm hoping I'll know somebody there. But either way, I'm there and I'm so excited that I get to go. So it'll be really, really nice. And then after that, I am <laughs> literally coming home and watching Gossip Girl and ordering pasta and chilling all night because I'm a little tired, but I'm s it's fun. It's fun tired. Fashion week is a thrill and I'm really grateful to like this mo I just can't get over it. Anyways, uh, Mitchell and Kat will be here soon to do my makeup and hair and we're gonna get after it again. You guys already know what I'm doing. Electrolytes, baby. Kat's here. We have sheet masks. <laughs> she okay. gets, I would like, ooh, these are nice ones. Yeah, these are my faves. So you don't have to rinse them. Oh, so nice. we can do a little clearing solution, which just is like. Is that like drying though? Mm, no. Okay. Do you feel dry? No. Okay. So I guess that could be fine. Um, or we have a calming one. Ooh. Or hydration. Or a little pore purifying. Oh my gosh. I mean, this looking one at you have to rinse after. These you don't. Um, these look like drug dealing here. Yeah, I'm like, which pill you want? <laughs> yeah, which pill do you want? Um, I don't know. Can you just pick for my skin? Um, I mean, you look hydrated. I know. I probably don't need. Maybe we'll that. do a little calming. Let's calm. I like. Calm I like up. that. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Doctor Jart, baby. Those are the best. I'm gonna go do this in the bathroom. Yeah. You can't see. All my hair is here, chilling, waiting for Mitchell. Cat setting up shop. Vibes are excellent in here right now. Okay guys, we are all ready. I didn't really vlog the glam, but hair is freaking amazing. Dress, shoes are actually strangely really comfortable. Let's go. for me which was fun so hungry that was seriously so cool I missed the carpet though that did happen <sighs> sucks but now I can learn that you just got to get ready even earlier I thought three hours was fine but you got to get ready even earlier um, so, but I, it was so amazing. Sarah Jessica Parker was there, Winnie Harlow, M. Rada, Alan Cumming was the host, um, Pamela Anderson, star studded. I'm definitely forgetting people. Law Roach was there. So cool. I'm forgetting people, but I was, I felt very, very honored to be there. It really inspires you just to go after your dreams. And it's just really cool to be in a room of people of that caliber. That was just so crazy for me. And I can't even believe I'm still standing in these heels. All I've been dreaming about is taking off these heels. Um, they're actually very comfortable. The comfiest heels I've worn in the last few days, but just days after days of wearing heels, I think, you know, you just get a little sick of them. But I had fun, I ended up Seeing some people that I knew there So that was nice, but it was really like me against the world um, It was so cool though like walking in I had a little video But there was like paparazzi outside and stuff which makes sense because who was in there But they took they took a couple flashes for me. I felt 
It made me feel good. Okay, I have to go and take off the shoes. So Jazz music and pasta, Friday night alone. You really just can't get much better than this. I need to light a candle, baby. Yes. Stanley Cup is on my nightstand full of cold water. It's not even 11 p.m. I popped a melatonin. I will see you guys tomorrow, Saturday. Good morning, I'm getting ready to go to breakfast with Ryan. I'm just wearing a black workout set, black tank, some New Balances, Missy Goldman stable hat, nothing crazy, but I cannot get off this necklace from last night for the life of me. And it's a nice piece of jewelry, so I slept in it. And now I am forced to go to breakfast in it and I'm gonna have Ryan get it off. I, it's like hurting my hands till, and I don't wanna rip it. So we're working through this, um, but I'm just like, trying to hide it because it looks so off-brand with this outfit. But I'm drinking coffee with Gals in the Go merch available always. Gals in the Go podcast.com. Click merch. Block me, unblock me. I love this mug so much. And we have more merch coming out in like a month probably. So love that. Here is the morning skincare lineup. I literally just repurchased more of these on Amazon. The Natural Serious Cold Press Peel Pads are my life. I just recently purchased this Dr. Dennis Gross Vitamin C Moisturizer and I love it. It makes my skin look super glowy. And then I finished off with the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Liptide Lip blah, 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 Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. I've used this for years. I love it. Um, it's just like a nice barrier cream to put on your face. I'm gonna go meet Ryan and then we're gonna just walk around and find a restaurant to walk into for breakfast. Ryan goes, let me know when I can eat. <laughs> you can always eat. I like an action shot. This looks so good. I love when he orders the biscuits and gravy because then I get a bite. Hee <laughs> hee. Guys, why is this hot sauce giving skincare? Like he's about to put on some vitamin C serum. Guys, this is so funny to me. They brought something over where you can review your meal, like literally every single thing. So we're giving a oh, good so review to the Jane. Right. Would you recommend the Jane breakfast? The Jane breakfast was amazing. Okay, today's an exciting day. We have La Point, which is a runway show. It's the first runway I'm going to this week. So I'm really excited. I love a runway show. I'm going to La Point and they're dressing me, which is just such a true honor. Sally La Point is seriously so amazing. I love all of her clothing and I cannot wait because this one, they're literally closing down a street in Soho for this runway show. So I'm pumped. So I've got one outfit laid out here and then I'm literally running over to Alice and Olivia presentation. And we're going to bring the clothes with me. So this should be very fun. But I'm kind of styling out how I want to style out this look before Mitchell and Kat get here to do my hair and makeup. I think I'm just going to do a slick back situation today because it's going to be hot and I don't want to be worrying about my hair all day. Kat is here and I'm quickly gua sha -ing. Emergency gua sha. And she, it's our new routine. We get each other smoothies. So she got me um, my OPP. And then you get the, what's it called? The Joe something? No, peanut butter split. Peanut butter split. So... We love that, and just gua shaing, gua shaing, gua shaing. And then we're going to do it up. Guys, this would be my favorite look so far. And it was my favorite when we did something You're right. Last year. She was like, I want to do this one that we did. I'll insert it right here, actually. Um, it's this look we did for Fashion Week last year. I was wearing a brown cutout dress. It was for a uh, Revolve gallery night and a Vogue party, I think. Yeah, it was both. Yeah. Cause I switch outfits and she was like, I want to do that. eye look again or something similar. Yeah. And we did it. Tones. I really, whatever you did, like, I like how my eye, like I like how you accentuate it. I don't know. It makes my eyes look really bright. So, and then Mitchell did this insane hair. You guys, I said I wanted slick and he was like, I think he was like, you always do slick. So let's try something different. And I'm happy we did. Cause we did slick on the sides, but then there's like this little moment and then it's like messy in the back. Like I just threw it up, but. That is not what happened at all. So I'm so, so, so happy. And we got ready with so much time so I can like leisurely get dressed and pack my bag, which is always a lovely feeling. And my smoothie was amazing. <laughs> it's a good day when your smoothie's amazing. <laughs> all right, we're ready for the first show. And then I'm bringing my Alice and Olivia dress with me. And I'm gonna pull 27 dresses and be like, pay you 20 bucks if you don't look in the backseat. 
<laughs> I don't know how she did that. This set is so me. I love a pant moment. I'm wearing my tall boots that I'm going to be wearing with my next outfit, so it kind of serves as multi-purpose. Wearing this gold cuff, Jenny Bird earrings. And I was playing around with necklaces, but I was like, this neckline, I don't want to like distract from the neckline. Um, and then I'm bringing a black Chanel bag. But I'm so excited. Oh, I had this like tucked in. Maybe like a little tuck. I don't know. I'm bringing two pairs of sunglasses because I couldn't decide which pair to wear. Like obviously I want to show off my eye makeup, but, but sometimes to change up the photos, I like to add a pair of sunglasses. So I literally just posted a TikTok. I was like, guys, help me pick out which ones to wear. And everyone's kind of mixed reviews. So I'm going to just put both because I'm bringing this bag. It's a little bit bigger, which is nice. I can fit more. I can fit a snack in there. All the things, so I'm just waiting to see what people say. People are already responding, but it's like kind of split right now. And I, I really don't know. It's between two. They're very similar. It's either these, the ones I was wearing earlier from Amazon, or these Celine sunglasses. So we shall see. But I love having this big bag. I'm like, I could put a banana in here if I need, but I already have a granola bar. I wish I could put like water in here. That would be nice. But um. Head it out. I'm really excited for today. I'm just in a very annoyingly good mood today, and everyone I've been around today has been in a good mood, so I think that's exciting. And then tonight, the Rebecca Minkoff after party, I'm really excited because I have a plus one for that, so I can bring Delaney, and she hasn't been to any Fashion Week events, so I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's start the day. We just got here, and we're here early, and they're rehearsing right now. You guys look who I'm with. It's Elizabeth, also known as Stylist oh Check, God, and then this is Talia. Right. Look at their Apple Point outfits. So cute. I I'm wish so I brought. used to being in pink right now. I know you are more of like a black neutral girly. This is so exciting now. <laughs> Just got back from Alice and Olivia. I literally love this dress so much. I feel very regal. I feel really myself. I feel very, I just feel good. Um, and this dress is from Alice and Olivia. I love the cutouts. I, it's so unique. Like this is like this vegan leather skirt attached to the top. I started to unzip it and then I was like, I don't even think I showed you guys when I put it on because I quickly changed. Boots are Vince Camuto. This was just so comfy. It was such an easy change. And I love it. I'm about to take it off. I'm about to meet up with some girls to go to dinner. And then we're going to go to the Rebecca Minkoff event, which I'm really excited about because a lot of my friends are going. And Leon Bridges is performing, as I keep talking about. But I'm keeping my hair obviously the same. Like, I would like to sleep in this hair. It looks so amazing. Uh, I'm switching into a different outfit and putting on... Or I'm wearing a Rebecca Minkoff bag. And then I think shoes, too. They sent me some shoes. I just have to see if they go with the fit. But, um... Going to dinner at this place called Nine Jones in the West Village. I went once before and I'm going with a lovely group of people. I'm going with Delaney. I'm finally bringing her to Fashion Week event and then Katie Bilotti, one of my very good friends, both of them very good friends, and then Morgan Riddle and Peyton Sarton are in town. So they wanted to meet up for dinner before the event. So I was like, oh my God, all my friends, we can all hang out together. And then their friend Maddie as well, who I've met before at events. I think she actually lives here. But yeah, it should be really fun. Um, I met Morgan this week and we're like obsessed with each other. So I'm obsessed with her. I actually, I can't speak for her. And then obviously love Peyton. So should be fun. Let's, I'm just gonna chill, decompress for a second. 
then I think tonight's gonna be just like a really fun night like I'm gonna drink a little bit tonight I think I think I've been feeling really good this fashion week because I haven't been like drinking and staying up really and waking up early I've been like very conscious of my social battery my personal battery my mental battery my health battery just all the batteries and it's been really lovely and I'm feeling very grateful so anyways oh but what was so nuts you guys I I'm gonna put it in this vlog it probably already happened when I got out of my car right in front of Alice and Olivia's in Fidei, I think it's because I ordered an Uber Black. I don't know if they just assumed I was some important person. I get out, you guys. There were 10 paparazzis there. Maybe 11. I'm not exaggerating. All like, they, <laughs> they kept calling me Carol. I don't know. Someone must have said Danielle Carolyn. And then they were like, Carol, Carol, Carol. And, uh... I was fine. And then finally I was like, I'm Danielle, by the way. But, um, you know, it's close. But I felt very, very, very important for no important reason. So that was fun. There are paparazzi outside of all of these events because, because that's what they do during Fashion Week. And it was really cool. Okay, I think we can all agree this is the most Danielle outfit we've ever seen. Um, this blazer is so beautiful. It's got some really cool detail in the back. It's Jacques Mousse. And then pants are Caperni, electric picks, jewelry. Shoes are Tony Bianco. Love. And then I'm bringing this bag from Rebecca Minkoff because we're going to a Rebecca Minkoff party, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys look so good! I love it! Oh my god! How does one eat this? Yeah, I'll get a uh, vertical video. Guys, this is not vibing with me. I'll take it. Give it to me! Give it to me! She's trying. Give it a kiss! Yeah! Alright, we're walking up to the Moxie. Here we go. You're getting it from the front. Well, we have a moment. Uh, okay, good. Katie no, offered to switch to me. Because these, these are... you can you can dance in all night. We're going to common ground now. I've had my time with the comfy shoes. It's her turn. So you're you're fine. These are a little yes. hard, but they are still platform. They're still comfortable. Girly, I've been wearing heels Ooh. since I was old enough to wear a heel. She's the best. Thank God you guys are the same it. size. We're gonna do it. I, I was know. like, I think we're around like eight. I'm an eight and a half eight. Okay. Like, I'm like a seven and a half eight. See, half. you'll be fine. Oh. These are, I think these are a true Thank eight, you. honestly. These are a gem. Thank you. <laughs> Almost 2 a.m. We are back home. Had such a fun night. We ended up going to Common Ground. I have never been there before. Um, it was a good time. And then we left. Katie's boyfriend met up with us. And we went to a karaoke bar in West Village. It was so fun. And now um, Ryan's picking up a, us a pizza right now. I have to take out my hair. Take off my makeup, which is always really sad. But um yeah i will see you guys in the morning it was such a fun night hello everybody it is sunday morning and i just finished getting ready. I did my own makeup and then I curled my hair with this dry bar wand and then Kellyanne taught me this in Miami to kind of like pull up the curl when you're done so it kind of has that like beachy wave straight ends at the bottom and then I sprayed in hairspray and then this Kevin Murphy hair resort spray. 
um, to kind of give it some texture. I was supposed to go to a presentation today for a really cool designer, but it was supposed to be pouring down rain and I had to make a decision pretty quickly if I was going to go or not. So I decided not to go so I could get a little bit of work done this morning. But I'm going to a really fun and cool event with Target and I'm bringing Delaney. So Delaney's getting to come along on a lot of things this weekend, which is fun. Um, and then I think I'm going to go to a fitting at Love Shack Fancy um, after. And Delaney doesn't know yet, but I'm going to ask if she wants to come. I feel like she might want to come. It's fun to bop around the cité. The rain went away, which is amazing. I'm wearing this really cute denim set from Target. It's like a denim corset with like denim cargo pants. I mean, very, very up my alley. I honestly just had a really nice lazy morning with Ryan, which I didn't know I was gonna get to have. So I normally on Sundays would like put my sheets in the wash and do all that. And I didn't, um, but I'm just not being hard on myself. I kind of liked these necklaces I wore last night from Electric Picks. I've been listening to Michael Bublé all morning and it's been so lovely. Like, haven't met you yet, feeling good. I think it's because I saw that guy in the park performing yesterday and he sang Feeling Good by Michael Bublé. And you know what? It just made me feel good. I'm gonna put in these hoops. Just some good old hoopy hoops. I don't know if I should do bracelets or maybe I'll just do some rings, I think. And then shoes. Not sure on shoes. I think I am gonna go white sneakers. All right, here is the fit. I'm gonna wear this all the time. I love that Target had this. And then, yeah, all the jewelry I showed you guys before. White sneaks, this is so comfortable, so me. I literally love this outfit so much. Event is done. We just came and stopped by this random restaurant in Chelsea and I was like craving. I love how they, I got a Greek salad, but they added the stuffed grape leaves. Like this is a dream. So good. Okay. It's a lot later and a little bit later now. Not a lot. Delaney and I caught up and I started my Sunday reset. We're cleaning the sheets and doing laundry, all that stuff. I'm going to have to fold this when I get back. And I just had random stuff thrown around my apartment because fashion week, so I'm just throwing stuff. So I'm kind of just slowly putting things back in their place and just kind of getting ahead on this coming week, kind of what we have going on. It's another busy week. Fashion week is not over. It's Sunday. I have stuff, honestly, all through the rest of this week. Not as crazy, like back to back, but stuff that I'm really excited about. Ryan and I's, one of Ryan's friends from high school, him and his girlfriend um, just moved in together and they wanted to host us for a little like dinner at their apartment which i think is so wholesome so they invited ryan and i so we're gonna go there i'm not gonna vlog probably but we're just gonna have a little wholesome evening maybe watch some football if there's any sunday night football on so i just i kept these target jeans on because i love them and i put on this black tank super chill what do we think of my hair like this like is it too curly my hair holds a curl really well which is nice but is it like too much i kind of like it especially as my hair grows but you guys let me know Anyways, that's what's going on. We're doing well. And I'll see you guys when I get back because we're going to continue the Sunday reset later because Ryan's about to be here. He was just picking up some wine. I feel like an old couple. Like, we're bringing wine to the dinner party. <laughs> Home now. I just folded all the laundry that was on my bed earlier, put it all away. I also finally unpacked um, my, like, jewelry organizer. I had all my jewelry still, so I put it all where it's supposed to be. Now I need to make my bed. My sheets are done. Hopefully, at least that's what my dryer says. It just kind of has it, yeah, nice and dry. Ooh, look at that steam. <laughs> Cause I literally can't go to bed until my bed is made, so. It's cozy, rainy outside and I'm kind of living for it. All right, bed is made. It's 11.30. I will see you guys in the morning. Eating some breakfast, watching Morgan on YouTube. Good morning, happy Monday. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, and I'm attempting to do a quick lip liner. I just recurled my hair. Headed to a restaurant called Dirty French, which is at the Ludlow Hotel in Lower East Side. I love that place. I love that hotel. 
my old neighborhood. Excited to go. I'm going to lunch with Brooke and the Free People team, which will be really fun. Um, and then from there, I'm actually gonna stop by Delaney's apartment because she lives in Lower East Side and I'm gonna change. I'm wearing some Free People jeans and this just like white tube top. And then from there, I'm going to the Dennis Basso show, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I asked Delaney if I could stop by because she's working from home today and change. And she's a real one for that. So, um, yeah, I have my outfit for Dennis Basso in there. I just got this coach bag. I'm obsessed. It's so great for when I'm wearing more silver outfits. Honestly, is the, are the bangles just too much? All right, here's the final look. I added some nude heels, silver necklace, and then we're gonna change after lunch. Just got back from the Dennis Basso show, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I obviously like changed into it at Delaney's apartment. I love this look, it's so cute and girly and I pulled my hair back and did like a little half up, half down. I really like this hair look. Top is House of CB, skirt is Dennis Basso. Shoes are actually Betsy Johnson. Love the little bow. Bangles are eight other reasons. Anthropology earrings from earlier. But I'm now gonna change out of this. I gotta do some work and then tonight we're going to the I've Had It Live podcast show. I'm going with Lainey and Brooke and her mom and I'm so pumped. All right, it literally just poured over here, you guys. Thunder, lightning, everything, it was so cozy and now it's brightening up again. I should have vlogged when it was raining because it was really cozy. Final outfit of the day. I'm obsessed with this dress, it's from Revolve. It like naturally cinches in, which makes it way more flattering. I like how it is like an A-line moment and then the sleeves are so cute. Like, I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Um, I'm just wearing some like random necklaces. This is Lily Clasp. This is a random website. I can't remember. This is from New Top Jewelry. It's like a cowboy boot. Jared Jewelry earrings. Vince Camuto black boots that I wear all the time. So yeah, I'm going with Delaney. Delaney's headed here. She's picking me up in the Uber. Oh yeah, there's blue skies now. And then we're headed to City Winery. So, should be a good time. I'm ready to laugh. And uh, we're gonna get to go backstage and meet them because we were on their podcast last week, but we've never met them in person. So we're excited to meet them in person. And Delaney's who introduced me to I've Had a Podcast. So um, she's excited to meet them as well. Yeah, that's the look, that's the fit. So many outfits, so many looks this week, huh? We found the girls. The girls, cutie. Obsessed. And that's a wrap. The show was so much fun. The ladies were so kind and so, oh my God, we had the best time. And we literally hung out outside of the venue forever, just hanging out with um, Adina, Brooke's mom, and then Delaney, we were all just like giggling. We didn't want to go home yet. But that is the end of this fashion week vlog. I have a couple more stuff this week, but I'm just gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. This was the meat of the vlog, I would say. I'm about to get into my comfy bed. I love you guys so, so, so much. I would not be doing any of this if it weren't for you guys. Thank you guys so much for cheerleading me along the way. Um, I really wanted to lean in this week and you guys really made me feel like I'm doing something right, so. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon for my next vlog. Bye.